Hello guys and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be changing the default theme in Codeblox 20.3. So if we go to the settings and go to editor and go to syntax highlighting, we can see that we just have one default color theme. So what we want to do is change this color theme to something else that's much darker. All right? Dark theme saves lives or saves eyes. Okay. All right, so what I've gone ahead is I have uh, created this uh, file here, which I can open in, in VS Code. And you can get this online from uh, the wiki page. And I've modified it just a little bit. All right, so this file is going to be under the description of the video so you guys can follow along. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, search for code blocks and we're going to right click on it and open the um, file location. All right, so this is going to be where the visible, but at least where you would click to the icon where you would click to start the program. Click on roaming and you will see a folder that says uh, code blocks. So double click on that. And you will see that it has this uh, default.conf file. What we're going to do is just drag this in here. All right. Now, what you want to do is open up another instance of your file explorer and navigate to where you have code blocks uh, on your C, which is code blocks installed on your uh, C drive or D drive, wherever you install it. Navigate to that and find the code blocks folder. In here, you find a cb underscore share dot config file. All right, all you're going to do is you're going to right click on it and um, run as admin. All right, I hit yes. You're going to have this window show up. Now, what you want to do is click on here and you want to click on this. Um, you want to get this color underscore theme dot config c and f file. So I put in this folder so when we launch the application, it's easier to find. So we're going to hit open. And what we're going to do is also open the default as well. So click on here. And this is going to be the destination. We're going to click on the default and hit open. Now what we want to do is we want to highlight all of this. So I'll click on all of this to highlight. So I'll just highlight everything. All right, and what you're going to do is hit transfer, hit yes. Okay, or oh, you can also hit save just to save this if you're not sure. So save it, hit okay. All right, now what we're going to do is close this out. And then we're going to go ahead and so in, you can go ahead now and just delete this. It doesn't make a difference anymore. So just delete that. All right and then uh, close it. Now go to search and search for code blocks again and open up code blocks. So I have two monitors, just give me a second. It's gonna open up on the left one and wah, voila, it went to the right one. I don't know how that happens, but it always does that. All right, so now what we can do is go back to settings, go back to the uh, editor and go to uh, syntax highlighting and now you can see that you have um, multiple uh, color themes you can actually pick for pick from here all right 